I consider myself an environmentalist. I'd like to see human beings become better citizens and treat the earth with more respect. But as a scientist, I'm deeply despondent about the whole paradigm that's arisen around Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth Roadshow. And the reason is simply that the whole idea of catastrophic global warming is entirely unfounded in fact. It's distinctly possible to look at measurements and selectively edit them. You can extract from statistics just about anything you want. And that's what Al Gore did. He presented his hypothesis on the basis of supposed science. But if you check it, it doesn't correlate at all. So he has been really quite naughty in the way that he's used science to try and back up what he's trying to say. The fact of the matter is that the data do not support Al Gore's hypothesis. We have numerous studies showing us patterns going back thousands, even hundreds of thousands of years. These are normal cycles of nature. They have nothing to do with the amount of carbon in the atmosphere or with any other human activity for that matter. I like to think I'm green. I like to think I care about the environment. But the whole issue of controlling carbon emissions so that we can control the cycles of nature is what I have a problem with. This whole idea of anthropogenic global warming has become a green feel-good issue. And in reality, it should be nothing of the kind. People opposing carbon legislation are referred to as a lunatic fringe, implying that they are in the minority and implying that they are cranks. This is despite the fact that the many, many scientists that in fact oppose this whole idea of anthropogenic global warming are amongst the most respected and respectable scientists on Earth. Last year, a survey was conducted, it was a petition actually, that was signed by over 31,000 scientists. That's people with degrees in physical science, including 9,000 that had doctorates. And the petition was protesting the whole notion of man-made climate change. Another study of uh, 650 scientists presented evidence to the UN Senate Committee that the whole idea that man can influence uh, global temperatures is nonsense and therefore that proposed carbon cap legislation could have dire socio-economic consequences. We need to ask ourselves a fundamental question. Why do we believe, those that do, why do we believe in anthropogenic global warming, in man-made climate change? Is it because we've looked at the data, we've looked at the actual numbers and the measurements and applied our minds to them? Or is it because we've been subjectively influenced by some sort of political propaganda, if you will? What I've found is that most of the people supporting anthropogenic global warming in fact come from the second camp. They're not people who have actually examined the numbers. The numbers don't lie and that's what we need to look at. The correlation between solar cycles and climate patterns on Earth is well established. That the sun causes climate change. So unless we've got a way of changing the sun, we don't have any means of controlling the climate. It's a natural cycle. So by all means clean up the environment, but don't think that you're going to stop a trend either of warming or of cooling, because it's just not going to happen.